This is an interesting little concept, if you will. This is basically a mock-up of my new popcorn popper roaster that I'm having made. Um, it has the special sleeve inside that redirects the airflow of a standard popcorn popper, something that roasts much more efficiently and moves the coffee around. This is a cheapo um, voltage controller, so I can bring down the voltage a little. You can see it's at 122 right now. I'll bring that down a bit. And I have my little thermometer installed into the back of the roast chamber. I have my coffee, but also I have my scale. The roaster is so light that you can put it on a scale and roast coffee according to weight loss. So I have 110 grams that I've added, I know that, and I'll roast some coffee. Ninety five watts, and have good agitation. And hopefully, my scale will stay accurate, and I'll be able to tell how much weight loss I have when I reach about ninety five to ninety eight grams. That's about how dark I want my roast to be, and I can stop my roaster. We are my roast chamber temperature is 299 um, 98 uh, volts that I'm roasting on just to slow this down a bit and very nice even brown roast and I'm at 107.9 grams so I've lost three grams to weight loss so far I'm at seven and a half minutes and I'm getting some first crack here. 331, staying at 98 because that seems good. And I've got 102 uh, grams, 101 and a half grams. So that means I've lost nine, 8.5 grams, going for about 10 to 11 grams of weight loss. This is the, honestly, the first time I've seen real-time roasting by weight loss. And I'm seeing it right in my own home, on my back patio. 100 grams even. First crack is just sort of terminating. 343. Let me see, we're just getting down just a little bit low. We've probably lost all the moisture. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there at 10 grams weight loss. Shut it down. And I need to get that out of there and do some cooling, but it looks like a nice light city roast. And here is my roast result. So that is roasting by weight loss in real time on my patio.